To install the winch on your Razor XP, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface, ensure the vehicle is in park, and remove the key. Begin by removing the driver's seat by pulling the strap to disengage the seat and tilt forward to remove the seat from the vehicle. Before continuing, disconnect the negative battery cable. Next, remove the two screws and two bolts from the front fascia. Then remove four bolts and remove the front drive protection plate and toe strap. Next, remove the center hood by unfastening the two screws. Remove the hood towards the rear. Then remove the center instrument panel by removing the two screws. Next, remove and retain the two lower bolts and washers from the fair lead of the winch. Also remove and retain the two side screws from the side of the winch. Then, while holding the winch, pull the harness of the winch through the opening in the chassis. Pull the rest of the harness to the right side of the vehicle, in front of the suspension. After this, place the winch against the front chassis of the vehicle. Next, hand tighten the top two bolts on the fair lead. Install and hand tighten the two retained lower fair lead bolts and washers. Make sure the winch is seated firmly. Do not torque fasteners at this time. Then install the lower plate below the winch. Make sure the tab on the bottom of the plate fits into the slot in the front chassis. Loosely install two retained side screws to hold the plate in place. Do not torque fasteners at this time. Then install the two lower plate screws. Torque the two retained side screws and then the two lower plate screws to specification. Next, torque the top two winch mounting bolts, followed by the bottom two bolts to specification. Do not torque in a cross pattern. To route the harness, use the edge clip and attach main harness to the edge of the radiator mount. Then, use two cable ties and attach harness to chassis tube. After this, locate the hole in the chassis tube and install harness with push dart through the hole. Next, attach the harness to cross member using the edge clip. Then, route the harness through the grommet in the front floor panel and up to the pulse bar area. Attach the fuse connection to the bracket using the included push dart. Next, locate the dashboard and pull up a blank switch cover from one of the remaining slots on the dashboard. Feed the switch connector through the dash. After this, connect the winch connection to the switch. Make sure that the switch is pushed in and is seated firmly. Next, remove the pulse bar cap and plug into the pulse bar terminal. Connect the negative battery cable to the negative terminal ring on the pulse bar and tighten nut to specification. Then, connect the positive battery cable to the positive terminal ring on the pulse bar and tighten the nut to specification. Reconnect the negative battery cable to the battery and torque to specification. Next, reinstall the seat by placing the seat in the vehicle with the front resting on the tube. Then push the seat back until it engages with the rear tube. Then install the center instrument panel with two screws and torque to specification. Next, install the center hood from the rear of the vehicle and tighten screws. Finally, test the operation of the winch. 
For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.